Welcome back. Um, I'll, I'll be doing something a little different today. Um, I'm going to be doing a shave tutorial video for people who have never done it before uh, with the traditional wet shaving products, meaning a safety razor, brush, soap, and all that. Now, there are many videos out there that are better than what I'm about to, you know, what you're about to see. But the reason why I'm making it is because I recently uh, got two of my friends who live out, live in different states from me. Um, they discovered my Instagram account and stuff like that, and uh, they didn't really. Well, I mentioned it, mentioned it to them before, but they saw that I had a little bit of a you know cult following or whatever. So they wanted to uh, they wanted me to send them some stuff to try. So that they got interested, and I told them I'd make them a video at their request. So um, I don't know how useful it's going to be or how well I'll do outside of just doing uh, soap reviews, but um, we'll get around to it now. Hey, just a quick interjection here before the rest of the video resumes. I made a boneheaded mistake in not mentioning. That before you shave, you really need to take proper um, prepping, prepper, preparation for your face, really. And what I mean by that is that you need to either have taken a shower or if you're like me and sometimes take a shower at night and then shave the next day, you want to make sure that you thoroughly wash your face with something. In, in, what, it's whatever you use. I use African black soap or um, occasionally what I'll use is um, I have a Castile soap. It's a mild and it's unscented. And I put it in one of these Bath and Body Works uh, empty containers here because it's, it's like water, but it foams out and, you get, and it makes it more efficient. And I wash my face in that and it actually makes my skin a little slicker. It's a very good pre-shave uh, routine for me. And that's just what I do. You can do your own thing, but just make sure you wash your face. And if you've not taken a shower, I recommend after you're washing your face, taking a washcloth or a hot towel or it could be warm or hot and just compressing your face several times just to get your skin ready and hydrated because what it does is the water actually kind of infiltrates your hairs and um, makes them swell up so that makes them easier to cut you're going to do less trauma to your face by, by, um, by conditioning your skin and conditioning the hairs there so I hope that helps so continue on with the rest of the video as is and I will Post other edits maybe later on. There's a few other things I didn't mention. I might put those in a third video. So just hang tight for that. All right, get back to it. So for the, uh, to get started, what you want to have, and these are just the basic tools. First, you want a razor, a safety razor preferably. This is what I'm going to be using today. It's a Rockwell 6C. You will want a blade to put in the razor. I will be using a uh, what's called a crystal platinum blade. You will want a brush. I'm using synthetics. I'll be I'll be uh, mo mostly talking about how to use a synthetic brush as opposed to an animal hair. Animal hair brushes need to be soaked beforehand usually. Pre um, and synthetics do not. Synthetics are kind of on the rise as the go-to brush now. And you will need an artisan soap or a store-bought soap. There's a few there's a few soaps that you can buy in stores like Vanderhagen. But I mean they'll get the job done. But um, stay away from Williams. That's a garbage soap in my opinion. But uh, artisan soap, there's really no sub substitute for it. Um, so make sure you have some of that ready. And you will want, depending on how you go about your shave, we're going to be doing face lather today, and I will do a tutorials about bowl lathering and sample lathering later. But um, you will want a hand towel nearby and maybe a washcloth. And for after your shave, bare essentials, you want at least one aftershave product. If you do not have one, I recommend going and getting Aqua Velva from your local grocery store. It's about four bucks. Um, if you do not have an artisan aftershave, I have several of those. They are much more expensive. This is one of the cheapest out there, Sterling. It's about twelve or thirteen dollars. It's a composite witch hazel and uh, alcohol, denatured alcohol splash. And I tend to like those the best because they, they they tone the skin and they reduce inflammation from the witch hazel and all that, and reduce irritation much better than uh, just a normal alcohol and fragrance water. But, um, uh, Aqua Velva is pretty good though because it, it, it's a pretty good toner and it has menthol, so you feel good afterwards. And and all that, and it's good to follow up that with some balm. If you're, especially if you have a sensitive skin or you're just starting out, you might want to have some. You know, your technique's not going to be down right away, so you want to have some balm nearby just in case you need it. And this is probably one of the best out there, and it's also very cheap and in stores. Aqua Velva Sensitive Five and One. It has a very good scent. It goes with anything. All right. So first thing you're going to want to do is open your safety razor. Now this is a three-piece razor. So the handle comes off and there's a bottle, there's a base plate and a top cap, which in you two guys, James and Wes, also have three piece Gillette um, razors that I sent you, They're both techs. James, has, James was sent a fat handle tech, 
Wes was sent a ball in tech. They're going to load exactly like this. What I recommend is that you put this uh, top cap either on the palm of one hand or on the, on the uh, sink in front of you. Carefully remove this. I recommend taking hold of it by the side here. That way you don't cut yourself. And just lay it over these screws. You'll see the little holes that it just kind of naturally lays down there. And then put your base plate over the top of it. Correctly, right side up. This is a this is a flip flippable but base plate, it's an adjustable razor. So and then you just carefully screw it on. When you screw it, don't screw it too tight, just do it snugly, but not don't over don't overdo it, don't overcorrect. You're gonna to wanna to look and see if the razor blade is even, a little gap there. If it's uneven in any way, you need to loosen it and retighten it. Because then you, that means your blade alignment is off and you will have, you'll probably be prone to cuts and irritation. Um, just trust me, I've done it before and my neck was not happy afterwards. So just make sure it's snug, but not too tight so that the blade alignment is not compromised. All right. Next thing you wanna do, or at least what I do, take my brush and this is a synthetic brush you're going to want to wet it. You don't have to pre-soak it. You can pre-soak it, but you don't need to. It will just immediately take in the water and it will be wetted. So in a few seconds should do it, five to 10 seconds. And then you want to take the brush handle or brush handle, hold it upside down, squeeze and twist the bristles. Do not pull it. It will weaken your bristles and the plug there and compromise it over time. So you just want to take it and into the sink or in a bowl, squeeze and twist and get most, but not all the water out. Just get the excess out. This does not retain water, so you'll make a mess if you have too much in there. All right. You're gonna to wanna to take your soap. Open it up, smell it maybe. This is called coniferous. It's a very pine and fur, like mossy scent. Put your brush to it, and since it's your first time, I would do about a 20 to 30 second load time. Like this, so one, two, three, And over time, you'll find you'll need less than that, but you want to have, you better have uh, adequate soap rather than too little. And as you see, it looks about like that. That's more than enough. And you can take the residue out if you want to here. Add it to your brush. Okay, I'm going to set my brush down and wet my face. All right, make sure every area that you want to shave is wet. And at this point, this is not something I do, but especially if you have, um, if it's your first time, or if you have a skin sensitivity, say your neck, you want to do your pre-shave oil. And now, after your face is wetted, take your pre-shave oil and put three to five drops in the palm of your hand, and then distribute them evenly among your fingertips. And then say if, say if uh, you just want to shave your neck, you know, massage it. I recommend for your first time just massaging it all over the parts of the skin that you want to be shaved. But over time, once you get your technique down, you may not have to use a pre-shave oil or soap. I do have pre-shave oil that, uh, or pre-shave soap that adds menthol. So it helps, it's like a lather booster and it also increases the, the slickness on your skin. But now my skin is ready. I'm gonna take the brush. And I'm just gonna start like uh, kind of working it in. I'm gonna put a base layer down. Just make sure I've got some, a good layer of soap. And now, I'm gonna start working it in to agitate the lather and to build it up. As you can see, it's kind of thick and pasty. And so when it's dry like that, if you see that it's dry, you're gonna add water. You can use your sink or you can have a little container nearby. I recommend having a little container just to, so you're not running water constantly. So what I do when it's dry and pasty like this, just barely drop, put the tips, just a little bit of water. And you can see, adds a little shine to it and it will increase the amount of lather that is starting to build up. It will increase the cushion or the density of the lather. lather. If it's your first time, I tend to over lather my face. It shouldn't take more than three minutes. But if you wanna make sure you have it on there it's good and it's wet and it looks kind of like the consistency of paint, like glistening paint. If it's flat looking, 
or is drying, add more water to it. Once you get a good uh, consistency down, and you think you worked it in your skin, just start painting the layers, painting like this, and add water as you need it. See, it's starting to look nice, thick, and shiny. And I'd say that's about enough time to spend on that. Just put a little more water just so it doesn't dry out. I enjoy face lathering over bowl lathering just because uh, I feel like my, my uh, if you're going to spend the time doing it, why not do that on your face and make it you know, make your skin condition. You also enjoy the scent. If the scent, if the soap is a good scented soap and all that. And I'd say that's good enough. We're good to go. See, that's uh, that's what kind of what you want to see. At least that. There's some guys out there who leather, whose lathers look much better than mine. You want to wet your razor head. And then depending on where you start. Now, if you're going to shave your whole face, I recommend starting at the sideburn and setting the uh, safety bar, that's the lower part of the base plate right there. Right there. And then you angle it until you feel the blade on your face. It's about a 30 degree angle, I guess. And just go down, short strokes. No pressure. You wanna let the weight of the razor do its work. Do short strokes, don't, don't press down like you would with a cartridge. Especially on these angles right here. You wanna use as little pressure as, as you possibly can. Let's do that again here. So set the bar, angle until you feel the blade. You should be hearing a little feedback. No pressure, don't press down. And you're good to go. Now me with the beard, I have to do this painstaking, uh, make sure the line of my beard is even. So I have to go kind of like this and just But if you're shaving your whole face, you don't have to worry about that. Now, about sensitive areas, my sensitive areas, and one of the reasons I even have a beard is I just get, I don't like to shave this area right here. It's very sensitive for me, just around my mouth and like on my neck. So my neck is the uh, the area, I'll only shave it maybe one, one or two passes. And for your first shave, do one or two passes. You might not get the closest shave, but it's a practice shave. You're trying to get a feel for it and get your feet wet. And on my neck, on a non sensitive areas, I do not go against the grain. So this is where it's important that you map out the facial hair. Then you may want to grow your hair out for, you, for a few days just to see what direction it grows if you don't know where it grows. See, I used to go straight down here, and that's actually cross grain, completely cross grain, because my neck hairs go this way. So I cannot shave this way, or I will get severe razor bumps. So what I do is I don't go straight down, but I do it kind of at an angle. So about a 30 degree or so angle, or 60, 30 to 60 degree, and kind of go cross grain, kind of go with the grain a little bit, because this is completely with the grain, but if I go a little bit sideways here, it's kind of getting that in-between with or, again, or across grain there. So, and notice I'm using short strokes. No pressure at all. Just touch it and go. And if the, rate, the blade is not cutting the hairs, you probably need a sharper blade if you have a variety of blades to try a sampler pack, which I did send you guys, um, if it's not cutting them, switch out your blade and see if that works. Now, I didn't get completely smooth, but I got a, a good amount of it off, and this is about three days growth. So again, now I'm doing my first pass. So I'll be back for the second pass and I'll show you what I do there.